My name is Dr. Ben Surplus. I'm in the Geosciences Department at Trinity University. So Trinity is part of the Keck Geology Consortium, uh, which is an NSF-funded project involving 18, what I would consider the, the best liberal arts colleges around the country. The project itself was one I've been involved in fault systems and, and folding for a long time, thinking about how uh, I might apply uh, some of the new ideas that are out there uh, to a new system. So we came out here to southern Utah today to look at a large fault zone and really we're not focusing on the large faults but we're looking at kind of what happens in between segments of that large fault and looking at how little fractures in the rocks propagate and what direction they're facing yeah, and so that's, so how that's, much they may or may not have moved all to try to understand the bigger faults and the bigger picture of this thing. Probably been about four or five years ago I realized that so much of what I wanted to see I couldn't get to it. I mean people told me oh you should learn how to repel. But in reality, you know, one rope down the side of a cliff, I mean, you look at the cliffs behind me, you can see why that is not an effective use of my time, energy, and also I, d I don't really want to die. And so a much safer uh, way to do it is to actually use drone technology or uh, unmanned aerial vehicle so technology. The deformation that occurs in transfer zones as well as just deformation bands can impact fluid flows such as water, natural gas, and oil. It can be important for uh, big companies or communities. Working with a professor for an extended period of time like out in the field is pretty unique experience because you get to experience what that person is like outside of class. That's just unique, you know, not all students get to spend two weeks in the field just camping with their professor. Uh, we have like one more week here and then we're going back to San Antonio at Trinity to do a lot of modeling work, look at different aspects of the Seaver Fault system. The cool thing about this project is it is kind of traditional geology where we go out and hit things with hammers, look at compasses, get real close to the rock, but it's also integrating brand new technology to the field of geology, which is that drone work, in order to do geology modeling through the computer. So it's a really new um, technique for geology to get to do this kind of new technology research on somewhere that's geologically significant is just a super lucky experience. What I'm hoping that happens is that we take what we've learned here, uh, we can apply it to a number of different fields, uh, including paleoseismology and thinking a little bit about earthquake hazards. It's also important because of the fracturing associated with the faulting impacts permeability. And so that might impact groundwater flow, it impacts uh, gas and oil recovery, uh, and importantly, it also uh, strongly impacts geothermal energy. Uh, and it turns out that these transfer zones are well known for uh, geothermal energy systems, uh, not, just, not just in Utah, but around the world.